I have started cleaning up the tool loader. <clears throat> I'm going to take a minimum amount on the, this is the front side and this is the back side, minimum amount on both of those. The other sides I'm going to cut down so I get the correct measurements for the tool loader there. We're on the last side uh, we're roughing now. It has uh, gone okay. There is uh, definitely some harder spots here. The weld is hard some places. Uh, some places are okay because the whole thing got really hot when during the first welding pass, so I guess it sort of annealed. But uh, some of the later welds are hard can be seen. Uh, I've squared up uh, all the sides but one now. I'm having a little uh, issue here. Uh, the block is tilting because of the tool pressure so the wise can't quite hold it. I'm just holding on to the bottom here and I guess I'll uh, rough down the last side and see if I can get that square and then take another cut on top. I have about 0.3 millimeters left here until this dimension here is correct at 130. So we'll see how it goes. I finished machining the piece or facing off all the sides. Everything cleaned up except the corners there and there doesn't really matter, it's not a functional surface at all. This is the back side, this is the side towards the shock. So now we'll start uh, drilling holes for mounting, for coolant, and uh, milling slots here. We will mill slots here for the tabs, so um, a circular indentation there for the spigot or coolant uh, seal. Um, I guess uh, that's about it and we'll figure out the coolant challenges afterwards. Finished the tool holder groove and it came out within about 200 millimeter, so within 1000. The width is 50 millimeters and the depth is 25. It ended up at 25.02, I think. And, uh, I finished the hole for the tool mounting, and this is how it works. This uh, piece here and the wedge is from another holder I have. I don't use all of them at once. So you can see there's the wedge there. These two screw inwards. It makes this piece move and clamp the tool holder in place. So, and that uh, divot there in the middle is for this screw, which uh, when you're going to remove the tool holder, it's pretty well stuck because of the wedging action. Then you just loosen these two and then you screw in this and it will push this piece out. I got the piece dialed in here, so the center of this back face is uh, at zero. So we'll uh, drill it and uh, bore it to 59.91 or something like that, and four millimeters deep. Finished the hole. It came out at exactly four millimeters deep, but the diameter I overshot it a little bit. 
by maybe um, eight hundreds or something, maybe three thousands. Uh, this need piece needs to be faced on the back anyway, so that's why it rocks a little bit. I've cut the grooves and I drilled and tapped the holes for the spigot, which goes in like so. So what's missing on the back side here now is the coolant hole is going to be there and the holes for the for mounting bolts. I'm going to send the drill to the last hole now. Mounting hole, mounting hole, mounting hole and coolant. So the last one is going to be mounting hole. I pre-drilled the mounting holes with six and a half millimeters as deep as I could. Now we'll go to the 12.8 and we'll see how it goes. It goes probably very good until we get to the bottom of the six and a half millimeter hole. After that we'll see. thing left and that is to drill the coolant passages. There's the intake. That's about 50 millimeters deep up here. Oh, the first hole is there. Avoiding the mounting holes barely. And then there's uh, the hole there that goes all the way through. Exit on that side and then there's that hole that will intersect that hole and that hole. We're down to the last hole. So the coolant channel comes in there, like shown before. Drill the hole there, all the way up there, and tapped it for uh, M8. So we can plug it. We drilled here, and tapped it for M8, and drilled halfway. And then drill that way halfway to meet the other hole, which it did, and that is tapped for coolant fitting. It's some national pipe tread. I don't know if we can uh, see. Yeah, you can see it through there. So now the last hole missing is the one there, intersecting that one and that one, which we'll also have to plug from the top. First we need to find the coordinate of that corner, so we we'll use our center finder. Then center drill. Step is going to be tapping the hole for M8. I'm going 
to finish tap into the correct depth by hand.